Hello there. This is Paul with High Tech Legion, and today we'll be taking a look at the touch BIOS for the Gigabyte Z68X UD7B3 motherboard. Um, this is something new from Gigabyte, and it allows the user to set their BIOS in a Windows atmosphere. If you have a touch screen monitor, you'll be able to just touch your screen and access what you need to access, but unfortunately we don't have a touch screen monitor, so we're going to be limited to what a keyboard and a mouse can do. So just to take a quick overview of it, we have different icons up here. Overclocking icon, boot disk icon, a quick boost, PC status, at BIOS, supervisor password, load optimize defaults, power management, and integrated hardware. Below we have a restart button, a previous page icon, modify icons, you could add and delete icons as needed. You could take a snapshot, bookmark what you need to bookmark, and of course this is a home uh, icon which is not showing at the present time. We also have save to CMOS on the bottom, close the program, help, live update, and information. If you click on the information tag, it basically just tells you about what version of touch bios you're using. So let's go ahead and let's go into the overclocking section. And what will happen is when you click on the overclocking section, it will bring you up a tab. It will also have the other tabs for your other icons on it. And it will kind of look like the BIOS you might be used to looking at in the normal BIOS of the computer or for the motherboard. You have your intelligent tweaker status. If you click on that, it basically shows you the status of your computer what your memory frequency is running at, turbo frequency, etc. So I'll scroll that up and you can take a look at that. It'll also show you where your DIMMs are placed. The next button or tab would be boot disk and that basically shows you how things are going to boot up, what's going to be first, what to halt on, etc. So when we scroll down, we can see we have quick boot, the CD DVD boot option, first boot device, second boot device, password check, smart capability, and full screen logo, etc. I like to shut the full screen logo off. It seems to just basically take extra time to boot the computer up in my eyes. Then we can click on PC status. This actually gives you your your voltages, your fan speeds, etc. My V core right now is uh, at 0.89 volts. DDR uh, 1.5 set to 1.63. Current system temperature 39 Celsius. CPU temperature 17 Celsius. As we scroll down, we can see our CPU fans, warning limits, etc. They all have drop down boxes, so you can see and uh, select options. Also have a smart fan control and a slope for the P PWM. Next would be our integrated hardware. Of course, this does come with extreme hard drive. That one makes it a lot easier if you set up uh, your RAID mode, your RAID arrays, etc. Right now I have it set to uh, AHCI mode. I have a single hard drive in there. I'm not using RST at the moment. And this is just some of the normal stuff that you would expect to see in the BIOS, Azalea codec, onboard hardware, LAN boot ROM, your turbo uh, for your USB, USB controller, GSATA controller, firmware, eSATA controller, etc. We can click on power management. Power management shows you where you're at, uh, your ACPI suspend type, soft off, power on by mouse, etc. Basically it's just the same type of stuff that you would normally see in in your BIOS, but it's giving you an option to do it in a Windows environment. Now if we click on boot disk here, 
It'll bring you back to that tab section so you don't have to go through the tabs. Quick Boost brings up Smart Quick Boost by Gigabyte, and basically it's just a one step option. Faster turbo, twin turbo, and it gives you three different options to, to automatically one click shopping basically to performance tune your Z68 motherboard with the processor that you have on it. At BIOS basically brings up your At BIOS program. If you have a current BIOS that you need to update, you could update it from a file if you have it on your system or you could also go to the Gigabyte site. If you click on Gigabyte server, it will go ahead. You choose what server you would like to, to download the BIOS for. It will check your BIOS for you. Ask you to allow access, of course. It will go ahead and check the BIOS. It will tell you what BIOS, BIOS is available. If you have that BIOS, then don't worry about it. Go ahead and click Cancel. We are using the F8 version of the BIOS at this time. and let's go ahead and take a look at the modify icons as you can see if you click on that it'll just give you different options of what to add what to add and we do have everything everything checked at this time so once you go ahead and change all your settings etc you click save to CMOS it will ask you to reboot your computer you go ahead and reboot your computer and you'll be set up there's a couple things that I personally think that maybe Gigabyte should change. I understand that this might basically look like a BIOS version because it gives you all the different options. Right now we're looking at the advanced CPU frequencies. But it's not as streamlined as I would expect it to be. I would expect the screen to be a lot bigger. You cannot adjust this screen to make it bigger. So it constantly keeps you scrolling up and down depending on where you're at. They're working on it, so hopefully, you know, they'll come up with a different option soon where maybe you can make the window bigger or not. But right now, we're in the advanced CPU for, uh, core features, and of course, that's going to be where you could adjust your core clock ratio, etc., CPU frequency, base clock, memory frequency, etc. So we'll go ahead and click on previous page. It'll bring us back to that, and then we could go into our advanced memory settings and basically as I said it looks like the BIOS it's just in a Windows atmosphere but to constantly have to click and look at the small window I think it gets a little bit monotonous and it just to me it's just not as streamlined as it could be my other uh, my other gripe about about this is the icons they're kind of cartoonish. I, I understand they're trying to make it aesthetic to the eyes, but personally I would rather see something a little bit more adult-like, I guess you could say, with their icons, because they just remind me of something that maybe, maybe a child would be playing with. And for someone with, with my knowledge, I, I don't appreciate that too much. So we'll go back to the overclock section, we'll look at the voltage settings, of course voltage settings are, are in there, you can change your V-core, your, your load line calibration, etc. And we'll click previous page, miscellaneous settings is there, isynchronous support, virtualization support. So basically whatever you could access in the BIOS meaning when you boot up the computer and hit delete and try to access your BIOS, you will be able to access from here. It just gives you the opportunity to do it in a Windows atmosphere. I'm used to regular BIOS. I'm used to doing it in the BIOS. I personally don't like to set up my BIOS in Windows. I just, you know, past experiences it just didn't seem to work. but. This does seem to work. I have tested it. And it's a very good option to have. It probably is better off for maybe someone who's learning about BIOS, who's a little bit more of a novice, who doesn't 
doesn't have that security, secure feeling when they go into the actual BIOS itself of the motherboard, it kind of gives you a sense of feeling better about what's going on. So this is a decent upgrade by by Gigabyte. It's something that they're they're allowing maybe someone who wouldn't feel secure to get a chance to take a look at what the BIOS look like. So we'll go ahead and give it a B plus. And I just feel that maybe there's a few things that they need to work with. Well, that's had that's been our quick look at the Gigabyte Touch BIOS for the Gigabyte Z68X UD7 B3 edition. Now also remember, this is not the only motherboard that this comes with. There are mother, other motherboards that they do include touch BIOS with. So it doesn't have to be a high-end enthusiast board that you give this with. Thanks for watching. Stay thirsty, my friends. See you the next time. For the full review, visit www.hitechlegion.com. Bye-bye.